God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. Where does God, there's no imperfection. Welcome everyone, it's a beautiful day. I started to really think back on me when I started my spiritual journey, when I started really wanting to go within, and figure out life, figure out my purpose, figure out why I'm here, figure out the bigger picture, and really learn more and more about myself. And you know, I started seeking out knowledge. I started seeking out books. I started really testing the waters and seeing and really opening my mind up to more and more knowledge, more and more perspective and learning that way. And what I realized is that a lot of the teachers, a lot of the gurus that were coming into my life, you know, whether they knew it or not, were simply just reminding me of what I already knew. It was reminding me, they were reminding me of concepts, universal laws that I really down to my core understood but somewhere along the way forgot and they were essentially reminding me why I'm here and I think a lot of the teachers in our life I think the universe puts them in our place to do that and that we're constantly growing we're constantly trying to once we really jump on this journey to better ourselves we're constantly searching for more and more of the answer to to be peaceful to be happy to really be connected and what I learned was that, you know, for me especially, I took this knowledge and I was just so excited about it, just learning more and more perspectives that I started speaking on it. I started really feeling like I understood it. I figured it out. I cracked the code and all these things went through my head, but I hadn't put in the work into my life yet. And I realized that knowledge isn't anything without action, without application and it doesn't matter how much you know if you're not really doing the work yourself then you truly aren't getting the experience you're not teaching the lessons that you're supposed to teach that you're supposed to learn and I learned that along my life things were happening things were still coming up and I know what to do but I'm not able to fully act in it because there's so much built up blockages in my soul my energy wasn't even ready to do what my mind wanted it to do because it wasn't ready. And so I started to look more and more into, you know, these experiences. And as the universe is bringing more and more teachers my way, I started to, to realize that, you know, a lot of these lessons I'm able to really access via meditation. And I started going within, I started doing the work myself. And, you know, when we do that, when we do the work ourselves, when we really meditate and, and connect with our truer self, then essentially we're connecting with the universe because we're all connected. We're all connected through that intuition, through that inner self that knows all. And so I would meditate and I would write these notes down and I would see that the same teachers, the same gurus, the same pastors, the same lessons that I was seeking out, they would be literally word for, not word for word, but the concepts that I was getting coming to my own power just via learning more and more about myself and meditation and, and, and the oneness of everything i started to see that the same concepts that i was writing in my diary were, were coming up and people were talking about it on their videos that they were just posting i would see articles things would come into my life as validation that i was on the right track and i started really communicating with the universe that way and i realized you know, shortly after, the lesson I learned from is that we are all the true gurus and that we, when we ask for something in our life, the universe will continue to bring it to us and it'll continue to bring us these lessons so that we can connect with it. And that may come through your, your partner, it may come through your coworker, it may come through a teacher on, on Facebook, on YouTube, it may come through an article on the news but the universe will present these lessons to you so that you may continue to learn from it because that's the only way you'll understand is if you hear it through somebody else or you hear it through a writing or anything like that. But what I learned <laughs> was that when we meditate and we really go within, that we can have that true source connection with the universe and that we don't need to go through anybody else. We don't need to go through a teacher. We don't need to go through a guru to connect with the universe. And I would caution and I would put my red flags up if there was a guru, if there was a, an expert in this 
and, and spirituality in the universe and consciousness and religion and in, in the bigger picture, if there's an expert in that and they are advising you that you need to go through them or you need to go through something in order to connect, that is where, you know, personally, I don't know if that's true. And that's just my opinion on it. But that's something that I really tried to steer away from it because I understand that we are all connected and God lives through us, for us, and with us. And where there's God, there's no imperfection. And that when we understand that concept and truly we realize that the universe is speaking to us all the time and these lessons are in ways that we can comprehend it. These lessons are in ways that we can resonate through it. And the universe will continue to bring these teachers to us via whatever that channel may be until we learn the ultimate lesson that we can co-create and create with the universe, that we can speak directly through the universe by speaking to ourselves, by really getting in touch with our inner self and our intuition. We can really make that connection happen. And then we can become teammates. And then us and the universe are calling plays together. Said hut. We're calling plays, throwing Hail Marys, and getting touchdowns because we're co-creating together and we're doing it as one and everything is just better that way. Then you can truly say that you are one with the universe and you'll feel that the power has been inside of you the whole time. It's been inside of us the whole time and we have it and we just had to access it. God is in me, through me, for me, and with me. Where there's God, there's no imperfection. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.